Oh, hey, I didn't, didn't see you there. Um, welcome to my new studio. Hey, hey. Um, me and Juan moved recently. We've been in this house a couple weeks. Um, and this is my studio space slash plant room slash guest bedroom area. Uh, it's kind of a disaster on the floor. So I'm not gonna do a tour right now. Uh, that'll probably come in a later video. I just wanna give you a little preview of what's gonna happen in this video. Um, this is a bunch of footage that I took like last year. Um, <clears throat> and it's basically like, I guess you could consider this video what I did last summer. Um, you're gonna see some clips of me drawing, some clips of me, um, I don't know, having some, tr trying to do some aesthetic tea situation. Uh, I think there might be some outdoor plant stuff and stuff with my baby and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, so mainly in this video I was working on learning how to draw on the iPad. Um, I gotta be honest, I, I so far I don't particularly love drawing on the iPad. It's just, I, I, I can't make sense of it. Um, I am getting a little better. I recently, Lee put out a video and she was talking about how she got the Max Pack gouache pack. And so I decided to try that out and it is helping a lot. So I'm gonna hopefully be doing more on the iPad with that. If you want some uh, life updates and information, cause I will be having a shop update pretty soon after the launch of this video. Um, if you want some information about that, stay till the end and you will find out when that's all happening. I'll see you later. Hello. Um, I was gonna say that this might be for the May vlog, but I haven't really started a May vlog. And as you can see, it's already May 20th. So I don't know there's gonna be a May vlog. But yeah, I'm feeling kind of weird today because lately I've been going to sleep like later and later. As you can see, I'm not very good at doing my hair. It's, it's a disaster, like pretty much all the time. Um, and last night, I think it was the latest I've gone to sleep in a while. It's like midnight. Which, you know, in case you have never seen my channel before, I have like an eight month old baby. Um, so I don't usually go to sleep that late because she tires me out and I normally want to go to sleep earlier. I went to sleep at like midnight and then my baby woke me up at like 5 a.m. Lately she's been doing this thing where it's like she wakes up early in the morning and doesn't want to go back to sleep unless she's literally sleeping right next to me in my bed. And I've been trying to break her with that habit. So, we've like had to start re-sleep training her because she went through like a bout of separation anxiety, which is normal for infants. Um, yeah, so she woke me up at like 5 a.m. And... I had been wanting to start getting up earlier anyways and like try to get into some sort of morning routine so that way I have like time for myself to do things and self care and like things that I need to do daily to like keep myself sane and possibly also do some art business type stuff like edit a video, do some drawing, stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, so this morning I woke up at 5, so I decided since it was like 6 a.m. and I had already gotten out of bed like four times, I'm just going to get up and uh, I'm going to make my coffee and I'm going to work out because I never work out, never been a workout person. That was a mistake. I'm tired. <laughs> I know I should work out. I know like if I work out more like regular, then it will benefit me by increasing my energy, but I've never gotten to that point in my life where like I waking out or working out wakes me up and energizes me and like makes me feel good. It always just makes me feel terrible. Now I'm like more tired and I kind of want to go back to sleep, but I already had a bunch of coffee. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, yeah. Oh, and check it out. For those of you who are around when this channel was a plant channel, I finished 
getting uh, my grow lights set up here. I had to move all of my plants out of the nursery and I put them here on the shelf. That one, I forgot to water it. It went a couple days underwatered, so uh, it's pricking back up. Um, but yeah, I finally wired in the rest of these grow lights, so now I have the full shelf. Uh, I'm planning to put one up there, but I need to get some Velcro strips. Um, but yeah, so these are, these are my plant babies. This is where they reside now. Uh, hanging out here with Baby Micah, as my husband calls her. I don't know if I've mentioned that in the book. I don't think I have, but my husband calls our baby Micah, Baby Micah. And I laugh because it sounds like uh, when what's his name from Talladega Nights is praying to baby Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're hanging out here. As we do, Micah's full on crawling now, so that's fun. And um, I got an iPad, let me show you. I'm in my jammies, don't judge me. Um, my aunt gave me their old iPad that they were getting rid of. And my husband already had an Apple Pencil from when we previously had an iPad, but it broke. But anyways, I've been working on um, some uh, illustrations in Procreate, and I'm starting to like kind of figure out its features. But this is what I've got so far. It's like a galactic tea party situation thing. So I have like a lot of stuff planned. I'm excited that I have Procreate and the iPad because it's gonna make designing a lot of things that I have ideas for a lot easier and faster. Um, not that like I couldn't paint these things, like um, maybe I would paint those uh, with wash or something like that, but <laughs> oh yeah, she stands up now too. You wanna say hi? Say hi to the people? Oh. Yeah. Um, but it's going to make designing lots of things that I have ideas for a lot faster. So like that Galact Galaxy Tea Party thing is going to be, um, <laughs> a sticker sheet. I don't know if I showed it in my last vlog, but, um, I had painted some fruits and then I've been working on making them into stickers using Printful. I kind of messed it up a couple times. I, did, I had to do like three rounds of test prints to finally like get everything to cut correctly. Um, but I finally got them back and they cut correctly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you those here in just a second. So here are the stickers that are going to be in my next shop update. I guess you can call it an update. Um, so I got this sticker sheet with all five of the sticker designs plus some little star bits and bobs. And then this California fruits. Um, so you can get the sticker sheet. I think that's going to be like $7 um, since you get more stickers on it. And then you get each of the fruits designs. And I decided to put my name on it in like an orangey color. I was worried it would distract too much from the design, but it doesn't, it doesn't distract that much in my opinion. I think it looks really good. I feel like I'm gonna do more long mm -hmm. vlogs, at like not, not necessarily long, but like over a longer period of time. Because it's been really difficult trying to draw or make art when I'm watching Micah. I can't even walk out of the room without her starting to cry. I can't walk to the other side of the room without her starting to cry, actually, so. Oh, Micah. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? She didn't give me a kiss.
show them your dino jammies? Your dino jammies? <laughs> I love her dino pajamas. I am about to go to like this wine and paint thing that my family's doing, uh, like just some of my sisters, because one of my sisters is going to be moving to North Carolina for a year because her husband's doing like a training program. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess I just want to share my outfit with you because it's like a painting thing. Um, and I thought it'd be fun because I think I have a cute, I have, I think a cute outfit idea in my mind, but we'll see if it turns out cute in real life. So, all right, here we go. Here's a look. Um, I think it's pretty cute. I bought this shirt a while ago from a local thrift shop and I was intending to do like some sort of leech rinse thing to lighten the color, but I don't know. I might leave it as is. Um, I think I'm gonna sit with it a while and see how I feel about it. Um, I was gonna wear pants, but uh, we're painting, so I don't wanna get paint on my pants. Um, so I'm actually gonna be also wearing an overall over this. Um, and I got my junky Converse, because I don't wanna get my nice shoes um, ruined. Uh, and I don't know, I kinda went with the hat, because it had a kind of a Van Gogh painter vibe. So, uh, yeah, I think it's cute. Check me out guys, I'm dressed. <laughs> um, yeah, Juan took Micah to the park today, uh, so I think I have a couple hours to get some stuff done. I am, maybe I'll make a list. 
Let me make a list. Um, I'm going to try to. I need to take a video of the tote bag. So that's, I think, number one on the docket. Uh, and then I need to get all of the product listings for the stickers and the tote bags uh, exported into my shop from Printful. Um, and get all those listings ready for when they go live. I think I'm going to schedule the, um, how do we view the calendar on this? I think I'm going to schedule these products to go live, I guess next Saturday, uh, June 12th. And with the speed that I edit videos, they're most likely gonna already be up by the time you're watching this. So if you wanna get them, you can go to my Etsy shop. I think the link is in the description. Um, and then if I have time, uh, I would like to put together a rough cut of my previous studio vlog. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay, so I made multiple attempts to make product videos for the stickers Hasn't worked out so far, I'll not give up, uh, but I did get the product video for the tote bag finish. And one thing that I thought was a nice feature that Etsy has built into their, um, sorry, I'm giving you some weird angles, um, that Etsy has built into their like listing platform where you can put together listings is that you can crop a video size within their platform, so I was able to crop out all, all the uh, the background setup um, within their platform. So now the video looks like this. I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to crop out the background stuff because it was totally in the frame in the video that I shot. <laughs> Um, but I'm glad that uh, I was able to crop it out within their platform because I couldn't figure out how to do it in Premiere. Um, so yeah, worked out good. I think I got pretty much all my listings prepped. I just need to get the um, sticker product videos finished and exported correctly this time. Um, and then I should be able to should be done so we're at the beach very interesting mike is upset he's ready there's something on the lens oh there's something on the lens okay i got it mike is ready to go she is not a fan I thought they were like full-size teapots and I was gonna save this to open oh I started streaming on Twitch um, or at least last week was my first week doing it I'm gonna try to keep doing it but anyways I was gonna save this to open on the live stream 
but now I feel like it's going to be pretty disappointing, so I think I'm just going to open it now. Or at least I'm going to attempt to. Micah might help me. <laughs> so, just a second, let me grab some scissors. I feel they aren't as small it seems as I thought they would be. It seems like they're like a personal size. Like just tea for one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's cool. I feel like I didn't really notice the ombre effect so much online. So there's the body of the first one. I love this little detail. Don't look at my face. Uh, of the little spout. I thought that was cute. But that's one. Look at it! So cute! So kitschy! It's got strawberries and some little other berries and some flowers right on top. So this will be fun for like when I'm streaming, just like background feel. Um, and thank you so much for staying till the end. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I will be having a shop update. You saw me designing some things in Procreate and those are actually finally coming out. I will put the dis flash the designs up here that I will be releasing and I will be releasing them on this date. Um, so I, it just took me so long to figure out, how, well some of these, it took me so long to figure out how to get the colors to print correctly and it took me a while to figure out how to get the outlines of the shapes to print correctly just because the way that the service I'm using works is if the computer picks up any speck of color then it will print around that and so especially with the strawberries designs I was having trouble getting it to print like the outline in a smooth line um so there was that so i'm finally releasing these stickers i will be eventually releasing some prints um i just need to figure out the service that i'm using like i know which service i want to use but i need to f like learn how it works um and integrate it with etsy so that i can um get prints done 
Um, so yeah, a little bit of a life update. Uh, me and my husband, I think I said at the beginning, recently moved and my battery is dying. And um, that's about all I got for you guys. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, don't quit your daydream. And I hope that my battery lasts long enough to say bye.